Hey guys, welcome back once again to Thai Talk and today we're talking about custom parts. So today I'm going to be making a custom shroud extension for my Dio. Here's the original shroud, as you can see I've taken it off of the bike. Now you can buy these little shroud extenders, it's like an intake extender and it'll help to bring in more cool air to the engine area. Now, as you can see, if you just put it straight on like that, it doesn't actually fit that well. There's a few modifications that need to be made so that the shroud intake extender can actually fit flush to the shroud. As you can see here, it doesn't fit very well. So, the next thing that I'm going to have to do is actually cut off the original shroud cone. So to do this I've got a really basic bit of kit because I'm lacking in uh, tools over here. I've got just a hacksaw blade. This is going to be really fun to see if this actually works. So on top of that I bought some body filler, standard car body filler because I want to smooth all the edges so that it looks like a one piece unit. And of course on top of that I've got a few grades of sandpaper ranging from 100 to 600 grit. So now that we've seen all the parts that are included in this little build I say we move on to actually doing some cutting. Now I'm going to need a lot of luck with this one so let's see how it goes. Well, as you can see, I've managed to cut off the original intake cone, although it's a bit rough around the edges. As you can see, it looks like I've done it with a knife and fork. But never mind, because the new intake cone is going to actually cover all of that. So I'm not too worried about the finish that I got originally. Now we can see that it's coming together a little bit and get an idea of how it's going to look. So as you can see I've actually cut off the original screw holes. I thought they protruded a little bit too much and would make it difficult for making it look smooth and like a one piece unit. So what I'm going to do now is actually use this little screwdriver here, heat it up and poke it through the sides here and in other places so that I can use some screws and make it look more flush. I think maybe I might try a smaller screwdriver first and if that's not big enough move up to the next size. So these are the screws that I've got for the job and I think they're small enough that they'll be hidden behind the filler. Okay guys so check it out I've done a little bit of sanding and I've poked the holes through the cone. In the end I actually just used the smaller screwdriver because it gave the screws something to bite onto when screwing through the cone and into the shroud. I think this is going to look great when it's all put together. I'm really excited to see the finish. As you can see, I've just made three small screw holes, just like how it was originally with three holes evenly placed around the cone. And of course, I've sanded it in preparation for applying the body filler. So let's get this attached and see how it's going to look when it's screwed on. Well, there you have it. Now doesn't that look special? The screws went in perfectly. There was a little bit of adjustment needed because I cut off a little bit too much of the original cone, but they all went in fine and it's looking great. So far I've mainly been using 100 and 180 grit sandpaper just to get a really rough surface so that when I do apply the filler it's got something really nice to bite onto. You can see there's a few gaps in there but that's all going to be filled once the body filler goes on there. So let's make a start on getting some body filler on the shroud. First of all I just wanted to show you what I've done with this body filler spreader. It's quite big and I thought I've only got a small space to work on. This piece is obviously too big for the job so I'll use that one for mixing. But this one, if I actually show you in the video, there we go you can see now, 
This one is perfect for getting the correct edge and covering the screws and making sure that it looks super smooth and like a one piece unit. Okay guys, so here I am just applying the putty. It's a really good consistency, mixes really easily, I'm super happy with it. Maybe doing it indoors wasn't the best thing, smells out the whole room, but never mind. I'm being quite liberal when I'm applying the putty because it can all be sanded off afterwards. But as you can see, it's got great consistency, it goes on really well, I'm really happy with this so far. I think once I've got the correct amount of body filler on there, get that sanded down and ready for painting, it's going to look fantastic. Of course there may be some issues with heat and vibration, but I think I'll try and brace this with some metal braces also once it's finished to add extra strength. And there you have it. Dried, sanded and ready to go. Now this is starting to look really special. It really does look like a one piece unit. And once I've got all the paint on there, no one's going to even be able to tell that it originally was two parts. I filled in a few of the other holes that were there as well because I thought if I'm going to make it look like a smoothed unit doesn't want to have any holes or lines on it, it just wants to be fully smooth throughout the unit. And I think you guys will all agree that that's actually come out pretty nicely, surprisingly. And here we go. The primer paint has been applied. Now it's really starting to take shape and look like a single unit. I just used a cheap primer from the local hardware store. It cost about one dollar, one USD, maybe something around there. So it's not a massive problem if this doesn't work out. Of course, parts like these shrouds go for next to nothing over here in Thailand. So if I need to replace it, that's not a problem either. And here we go. This is after two coats of primer and two coats of matte black, also purchased from the local hardware store. So it really, really was not very expensive. I think altogether at the moment, I've spent less than $15 in total. Even the new intake cone was only about $3. So I'm really, really happy with this result. This is gonna look amazing once it's on the scooter. So I just need to give everything a little bit of time to dry and then we can go down and actually put it on the scooter and see how it's going to look. So let's do this. So here I am down at my scooter. Obviously the shroud is already off. You'll notice that the spark coil isn't looking in great shape, it's broken, hence why I decided to do a little bit of custom work while my scooter's out of action. So I'm going to take the exhaust off and then I'm going to go ahead and put on the new custom one piece looking extended shroud. And there you have it. On the scooter it looks fantastic. Forget about that sticker that I put on there because I'm going to take that off. I really don't like how that looks. I just had a spare sticker and went crazy and put it on there. But I think you'll all agree, anyone watching this, that that is a fantastic improvement on the original look. I've scuffed it a few times when I was putting it back together, but no worries. You can see that that curves around a lot more, which is going to bring in a lot more fresh, cool air into the engine area and keep those engine temperatures as low as possible. Now, I think I might need to shave the shroud down a little bit so that the spark plug fits better and of course get a replacement coil. But other than that, I'm super happy. Now of course, as always, like, share, comment and subscribe to Thai Talk Two Stroke Life coming at you from the land of smiles in Thailand. Have a nice day guys.